Check it out guys, my Ghost Mantis has molted. Check it out guys, she has literally doubled in size overnight. How amazing is that? With every single molt, she looks more beautiful every day. Check it out. You can really start to see all the little grains on her body, the way her attitude is, absolutely everything. Wow. Check it out. Her body looks amazing. Fresh out of molt. Look at the face. She's got the crown on the top of the head starting to form. You can see the antennas vibrating. Oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. I love it when an animal molts or sheds. It's their true colours coming back through. Their old skin's gone. And their new skins reappeared. You can see the old mite, the old molt right behind her. You, that's how you can tell just how much she's grown in just one molt. She hung upside down. She walked out of her old skin, and that's what she looks like now. How amazing is that? It's so fascinating the way they do molt. Now she's out of that old skin. She's a lot larger. She can have bigger strides in her steps. She doesn't have to put so much effort into moving such a short distance. Check out that tail pattern. You can really see it now. Let's give her a bit of a feed and you can see I've just dropped a fruit fly right behind her. Oh look there she turns, you can see it and bang! How amazing is that? So she's got the fruit fly, it's in her extended arms and she's just having a little munch away. How cool is that to watch? Let's get a, see if we can get a bit of a close up. These are just sort of a sit and wait predator the majority of the time. As you can tell, bang, there goes another one. They just hang upside down on branches and then snatch up the food as and when it passes. There we go, a lovely little close-up. It's a little bit blurrier than I'd want to, but you can really start to see the crest on the head start to form really nicely. I can't wait to see this in a few more molts. There's another little close-up of her face. Absolutely stunning creature. I find it so fascinating the way that these do feed. It's so adapted just to feed on these small little fruit flies. They must love it. Check out those back legs. You can really start to see the dead leaf look on those back legs now that she's molted. And that tail is absolutely stunning. Now you can sex these ghost mantids just by their tail, by how many segments they've had. I'm not entirely sure on how many should have on each. I think the females should have around about six or seven segments on their tail. And the males only have five. Look at the size difference between those two molts. How absolutely fascinating is that? It's amazing to think that big bodied ghost mantis was inside that little one. As soon as she molted out, that's how big she is. How stunning and how fascinating is that? Let's go ahead and drop another fly down for her. Da-dum, 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 bang! Oh, wow. It's fascinating every single time I watch that. Now let's go and have a real good close-up look at that. While she's feeding, she's distracted, so I can give her a good little look. You can see on the extended arms at the front where she does catch her prey, she's got the little tiny thorns, and that's what grips the food in. You can see on the tails, wow, look at the little the veins on the tail, the back spine. Oh my god, how fascinating is that? I absolutely love it when my animals molt or shed. It means they're growing. It's like a little kid growing up. You get to see the whole process. I love it. If you enjoyed it, guys, you know the score. Hit the thumbs up. Peace out.